the introduction to tonight's prayer and then the prayer itself. Yesterday was the feast of the presentation of Jesus in the temple uh, on the 40th day of his life. It gets other names, that feast, Candlemas, the purification of Our Lady. By the way, if you didn't take your Christmas decorations down yesterday and they're still up, I think they have to stay up till next Christmas or just call them winter lights or something. Today, the 3rd of February, the day after the presentation, we, we celebrate in a quiet way the feast days of Saints Simeon and Anna, who were the two who recognised Jesus and his significance and received him. So I'm going to share screen and give you the the scriptures on that. So this is a summary of yesterday's gospel. When the day came for them, that's uh, Mary, Joseph and Jesus, to be purified as laid down by the law of Moses, Parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Now in Jerusalem, there was a man named Simeon. He was an upright and devout man. He looked forward to Israel's comforting and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had set eyes on the Christ of the Lord. Prompted by the Spirit, he came to the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the law required, he took him into his arms and blessed God. And we'll see later what he said. Some of you will know. There was a prophetess also, Anna. She was well on in years. Her days of girlhood over. She had been married for seven years before becoming a widow. She was now 84 years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. She came by just at that moment and began to praise God. And she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. I've got a couple of wonderful images. This is Rembrandt. Um, Ron Dickiani's portrayal of uh, Simeon's joy. He's having his moment. Tradition says that uh, Simeon was an older man. And this is Rembrandt's, uh, the prophetess Anna. And scripture tells us she was 84. And she'd been a widow for a long time. So her life had, had not turned out the way she at one point would have hoped. And even at that ripe old age, especially for those times. It's young now, 84, but then it was old. And she was still open to being surprised by God.
So we begin to enter into the prayer for this evening. I invite you to be still, perhaps to close your eyes or do whatever's helpful to you. And to focus on your breathing. And what does your body need you to do this evening? And do that. And whether you're tired or awake, uh, relaxed or tense, how is God looking at you or with you just now? How is God with you? And share with God how you are today. And how is God responding to that? And what is it you desire from tonight's prayer? It might be to catch something of the, the hope, um, the confidence, the faithfulness, the joy of these characters, Simeon, Anna, or something else. What do you ask of God? And then we gently enter into the imaginative sphere. You might close your eyes, do whatever's helpful to you. 
as you begin to see in your mind's eye the the temple at Jerusalem. And it's okay if what's coming is your local church or another building. And it's okay if it's not clear. Accept whatever comes. And what's the weather like as you look at it? and feel the weather. What sounds do you hear? It might be you're seeing this, uh, the bird's eye view, or maybe you are there in, in person somehow as yourself or someone else. However you are present to this. Go inside the building, inside the temple, if you're drawn to, or if you prefer, stay outside. What are you noticing? What smells do you detect?
and go looking for Simeon. Find this good and holy man. What's he doing? What do you notice about him? Might he remind you of someone you know or have known? And at some point in his life of faith, he received a promise from God that he would see God's salvation. How does he carry God's promise? And what is God's promise to you? And how does God's promise to you want you to carry it? See if you can find Anna 
and of the prophetess. She may be praying somewhere. When you find her, what's she doing? And what do you notice about her? How was life treated, Anna? And how has she responded? How is God looking at her on this day? And does she remind you of anyone? Now you notice that a family is arriving, Mary, Joseph and Jesus. Faithful to the law, coming for purification and to offer Jesus to God. So watch them enter. 
and be met by Simeon. And when he sees the child, what happens in him? So watch him looking at them and taking hold of the child. How does he carry God's promise? And what does he say to Joseph, to Mary, especially to Mary? And you hear him pray to God. At last, all powerful master, you give leave to your servant to go in peace according to your promise. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all nations. The light to enlighten the Gentiles and give glory to Israel, your people. And while all this is happening, Anna, uh, she senses something is afoot. And she arrives on the scene. What happens in her?
What does she say? Speaking of God's deliverance. What is the deliverance that you are looking forward to? Take a minute to also to speak with God about whatever has uh, moved you, come to you in this time. Simeon and Anna held Jesus and perhaps over the last few weeks you have yourself held Jesus as a shepherd, a midwife, a wise man, a wise woman. Through the prophet Isaiah, God says, And I will still be carrying you when you are old. Your hair will turn grey, and I will still carry you. I made you and I will carry you to safety. Are we 
we finish our prayer saying glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen <laughs>